Welcome to Dependable Flame, where we explore vintage petrol lighters, ashtrays, tobacchiana, and other useful mechanisms. Make yourself at home. Today we are going to travel a little bit further down this road of clearing flint tubes in these vintage aluminum block petrol lighters. I really like these cylindrical shaped ones. Really nice in the hand. I don't know, there's a half a dozen of them or so that were in this big group. So I look forward to getting to all of them. Let's just get started here. We got a few screws in this lighter. And as you can tell, or you can discern if you look at the position of these particular screws that it looks like this screw up here is for the hinge the hinge of the half round that flips up so our flint spring screw is going to be this lower screw right here hopefully I can get this loose without it flying across the room There's the screw. There is the spring. And then we'll test that with our 332nd drill. And it does not make it very far in there at all before being stopped and coming back out with what looks like degraded flint there on the tip of our drill bit. So we will scoot these lighters that we've already dealt with out of the way. This one we have not dealt with. Get it out of the way as well. And place common household disinfectant cloth down here. A lot of times you won't actually have to use an automated drill, you can just use the bit. Sometimes you can even just shake it out. As you can see, there's substantial and again green hued flint dust that is coming out of the lighter or out of the tube of the lighter. So we'll just try spinning this with our hand here, and that seems to have done it. Felt that give. If we can get the rest of it shaken out here. file wheel is not moving because the drill is coming in contact with it. So that's a good thing as far as the flint tube being cleared. Get our canned air here again. Give that a shot from every direction. Shake out a brand new flint. Slide it into the tube. Replace the flint springs and flint spring screw and that started easy enough by hand get this grooved that's a really smooth action on that file wheel I like that a lot see how it does when we get it tightened on down I 
that's too tight. Well, that's a good spark. Snuffer is enclosing that wick completely, so hopefully that wick is in good enough shape to sustain the flame that a smoker would need to employ this particular lighter. And as you can see, it also has a small standard screwdriver integrated into the fill screw that you can use to adjust or tighten the flint tension. So now that we have it sparking the way we want it, get it filled up with fuel. And I can feel the body of that lighter cooling down all the way to the top so it doesn't feel like there was any problem with that fuel absorbing. It didn't take it any time so it must not be packed real tight. So we're going to go ahead and shake the rest of this off or out off camera. There we go. Still plenty of fuel in there. And these lighters are reminiscent of a roll of coins. Maybe about the size, this one in particular, of a roll of dimes. Really smooth action. Flips up easy enough. A little vapor lock. Uh, lights anyway on the second turn. No markings on this one. High polish type finish on this aluminum constructed lighter. And a very handy lighter to have on you. Keep in your pocket. Keep right there on the table beside you. I had one of these many years ago when I first started that I screwed around with for a long time before I finally sold because I liked it so much. We do have a little bit of excess fuel coming out the top there, which no big deal. Not uncommon for that to happen when you're filling a petrol lighter. You can see the big burst there of vapor lock and yet the wick catches anyway. So we did have to clear the tube on this one. Well, we haven't on the last couple, but it looks like the wick on this one is good enough. I'll change any of these wicks if somebody buys the lighter and plans on using it to smoke and doesn't want to smoke through a lighter or a wick that may be constructed of asbestos or have asbestos material in it. So keep that in mind, but if they'll sustain a flame, then I typically leave them in their original condition and sell them as they are. A good working lighter. Until next time.